Senate will come to order. We'll be led in prayer this morning by our guest chaplain, Rabbi Arnold Resnikoff, retired captain of the Chaplain Court of the United States Navy. Thank you, sir. Let us pray. O oh God, who made a world of change, you challenged us to change the world. You gave us dreams of better times and the power to pursue those dreams, to do our part to make a difference and help those dreams come true. Earlier this week, we set aside a day to recall that there are those who seek to kill the dreamers and thereby kill the dreams. But we will remember dreamers, those who had a dream, and through our work, through the courage and determination of Americans of all faiths and colors, we will embrace the dreams that make our nation strong, that make us a force for hope and good throughout the world. Almighty God, at a time when others say that all is hopeless, that things will never change, we roll up our sleeves as this session now begins and remind ourselves that how we act does matter and what we do does count. Through our leaders here, through Americans from sea to shining sea, and of course through those in our nation's armed forces whose faith and courage must sustain them in harm's way. We will keep the dreams alive to build a land where liberty will be proclaimed, where justice rolls like mighty waters, where all shall live in freedom, and one day where none shall be afraid. And may we say, Amen.